So this next technique is called the cue scratch, and what this allows you to do is emulate a couple of scratch techniques, which if you had to do them manually are a lot more tricky. So it's basically setting a cue point on a scratch sample, using the cue button to trigger that sample, which sounds like the forward cut scratch, because it's the sound playing forwards, and then using the platter uh, to propel the sound forward at higher pitch, which sounds a bit more like the stab scratch. So I'll show you the kind of manual way that these scratches would sound, and then how to do it with the CD deck. So the forward cut is where you're releasing a sound, you're opening the crossfader as you release it, and then you're shutting the crossfader when you're pulling the sound back to the beginning. So you're only hearing the forward motion of the sound. So go a bit like this. Now the stab is where you keep hold of the platter, but you push the sound forward. So you hear the forward motion again and remove the pullback with the crossfader, but it's at a higher pitch. So it sounds a bit like this. So there's a classic kind of scratch pattern where you put those two scratches together to get a kind of forward cut followed by some stabs, which goes like this. Now obviously I'm a scratch DJ so I'm not saying you shouldn't go off and practice scratching and learn how to do it properly, but if you're on a CD deck there is a kind of way of doing it which makes it sound almost identical but it's a lot less difficult. So what you need to do is set your cue point so find your scratch sample, set the cue point accurately right before the start of the sample so there's no gap, you're just right up to the edge of that sample. Now obviously if I hold down the cue button, it will sound like I've released the sound and played it forwards. And when I take my finger off cue, it silently returns to the start point so it means I don't have to worry about shutting the crossfader and removing that pullback. So if I want to create the, the effect of the stab scratch, if I push on the platter when it's cued, like this, it sounds pretty much like the stab. So what you can do is if you set your cue point at the start of a sample, you're going to use your left hand to create the forward scratch or the forward cut, and your right hand to create the stab sound. So if you now alternate between those two, you know, you can work out your own patterns you can get similar effects to that of the, the harder way of doing it. So I'll just show you a little example over a drum beat. You can also do the baby scratch obviously the sound is queued up, as long as you haven't shut the crossfader, the baby scratch is where you're just moving the sound forward and backwards, so you can kind of mix and match between forward cut, stab and baby scratch, you can get quite good results without ever touching the crossfader, so I'll just give you a little example. So there it is, the cue scratch. Give it a go, it takes a bit of practice, but it's well worth it.